Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Jay Bershbeck along with Carl Nelson at the Imagination Station. Today we're dealing with one of my specialties, air pressure, the power of air pressure. And you may have seen this experiment before using a gas can or a, a smaller can. This is big scale. This is the Imagination Station's version of going, super of supersizing that experiment showing air pressure which can crush this huge barrel. Carl. So we got a steel 55 gallon drum here. I just want to give you a sense for how strong okay. or how rugged these barrels are. Jay, if you could stabilize the barrel. I'm going to take a sledgehammer and try to... If you relied on me to crush this barrel, we'd be here all day. Because sure. that thing is pretty tough. So instead, like I said, we're going to use air pressure to uh, crush this drum. So all I'm right. going to flip this up. I'm just going to stick it on its end here. On its end? Oh, yeah. okay. Because what I'm going to do first is add some water inside about six cups of water. And what the water's gonna do is we're gonna create water vapor inside that we're gonna heat up. Now water vapor when it's warmed up and air when it's warmed up occupy a little bit more space. Our goal is to try to trap some of that expanded air and water vapor inside. We're gonna seal this up and then cool it down. Okay. We should see some crushing action at that point. But first, we're gonna need to uh, heat that air up. Okay. So help me flip this up on All right. our stand here. Okay. The thing we're looking for, Jay, is we want to see a nice, solid stream of uh, steam coming out this opening here. Sure. And in order to do that, we can't just use like a blowtorch or anything small. Um, as, as this is the supersized version, we're going to use one of these road torches. Yeah, I think I'll back up. Alright, so it, it'll take a few seconds here to get the water warmed up inside the barrel, but to give you an idea how big the flame we're going to work with. There's a good uh, sort of jet of steam shooting out there. We're going to try to capture that okay. by putting the plug back in. And we're going to wrench it down tight because we don't want any of that warm, expanded air to escape. But the key now, Jay, is wheel over that tray of ice. We're going to cool this baby down really quick in a tray of ice. Hold on. I'm going to just spin it around. Well, the first thing we should hear are a couple of the drum popping in. There we go. There we go. Give it a second. So what we're seeing is air pressure literally crush. 14.7 pounds per square inch of normal atmospheric pressure are now pushing down on this drum and because that water vapor inside and that warm air inside there has cooled down, taking up less space, doing a lot more damage than that sledgehammer did earlier. That is amazing. Drum. Looks like a pop can or a soda can. Looks like a pop can or a soda can. Or if you ever rinsed out plastic milk jugs, sure. and then you put the cap back on with warm water, stick it on the counter, you can see after a time they start to like collapse back in. Same principle, but it's a safe at home way you can do it. Sure, yeah, no one, you know, having that blowtorch uh, blow for the experts. Out. Experts exactly. like you, exactly. Well, this is really neat. A real 55 gallon steel drum crushed. Still going like it's made of thin aluminum or paper or plastic. Power that is it? 14.7 pounds per square, per square inch. inch. Amazing force. All right, thank you so much, Carl Nelson. Sure. I'm meteorologist Jay Bershbeck, and that was Imagine It. And if you want to stop down at the Imagination Station, they are open on President's Day from 10 to 5, and they are celebrating Engineers Week, February 20th through the 28th.